Now he was first to sign the petition to endorse President Yoweri Museveni um, when of course that came up <coughs> in Changkwanzi in the just concluded NRMMP's caucus there. On Tech 5 tonight, the Minister Without Portfolio, Richard Todong, who is also widely considered as the Secretary General in waiting for the NRM text, your questions. Join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and via SMS. 6565 is the number. Our hashtag is NTV Tech 5. Get us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is NTV Uganda. And you can also SMS, of course, your um, question to 8778. And remember to begin with Tech 5 or send us an email to Tech 5 at ntvuganda.co.ug. Our guest tonight, Richard Todwong, Minister Without Portfolio on NTV Tech 5. Honourable, many thanks for joining us. Thank you and uh, good evening, viewers. Um, Richard, you are first to sign the petition. Mm. What drove this? Because many outside uh, actually think there was an agenda. Not just an agenda by you and a couple of youth MPs, but an agenda by a clique within the movement mm. to actually outseat, outcompete, outmaneuver the Prime Minister, Mama Mbamazi. Thank you, Maurice. I, I think we need to make this very clear to the viewers out there and those who are not in Changkwanzi to, to understand what really took place. Of course, I was the first to sign yes because I always don't take chance and I don't always delay in making my decisions. Uh, whenever something is right for me, I just take up a decision and that was how I was the first to sign the, 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 the form. Now, this debate has been going on in the media, in the districts, in the countryside for a long time. Our party was being pulled aside. The party was in disarray. The leadership was a bit quiet. Members of the party were asking questions. By the way, we need to know that these members of parliament are chairpersons of their constituencies, according to the party constitution. So every time they go to their constituencies, members of the party are asking questions. What is happening? We are reading this in the papers. We are reading this in the papers. What is happening? The party is not speaking. The branches are quiet. And they are not functional. The district offices are closed. The districts, uh, the administrative secretaries are not functioning properly. What is happening in the party? So yes, as we have always done, every time we go for retreats, we ask very pertinent questions about the party functionalities. And so this time it came in form of a motion. It came in form of a, a decision to be taken that to stabilize the party, to stop stampeding leadership in the country, and to make sure that we settle because we are just halfway the term. And the way we were stampeding leadership, the way we were causing tension in the party and in the countryside, really it was worrying to everybody. So yes, it was incumbent upon members of parliament who are also chairpersons of their various constituencies in the party structures to have taken a step that they took. And definitely I was the first to sign on the list because I'm sure what I did. All right. Uh, let me take you on, on some of the questions people are asking uh, on Facebook. Francis Ebro says... And he asks a couple of questions, which I'll probably put to you straight uh, <coughs> as they are. He says, does the NRM groom young leaders? And is the NRM a one-party man that without Museveni they can't win or they, they can't be an NRM? And, and anyway, he says, do you have answers to these questions? Because quickly, does the NRM have groom young leaders? Grooming and is it a one-party, one-man party? Grooming is a systematic and consistent approach to leadership. And then the fact that young people are the ones coming up to provide answers to puzzles that were in the, uh, uh, in, in the party, that shows that young people are being groomed. And young people are being given a platform on which they can air out their opinions. And then really I need to respect the party for that, and I need to respect the leadership of the party that they have given the young people the platform on which they can air out their opinions. And yes, that is a confirmation of grooming in the event that that is the answer that such a person would need. And is it a one party, uh, man party, uh, that without if Museveni, there will be no NRM? Not really. There, there are many things why people prefer Museveni to others. It is not true that there are no other person that could come and run against Museveni in the party. But of course, there are so many other reasons why people would still prefer President Museveni to continue leading the country and leading the party. 
and then the, these reasons have been advanced in the various forums we have attended, and these reasons are all over Uganda, and in every Uganda from the north to the south, from the east to the west, from the central, you, you, you'll get testimonies. These are testimonial reasons that people attach to the president. And then some of these reasons are so emotional when you listen to the testimonies, and people say, now, where do we go from here? How do you handle this? And, then, and so, yes, as a party, we realize it's a strength and also a weakness, but we do need to grow beyond that to see that this strong man called the president and, 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 and the chairman of our party has over the years groomed so many other people that have learned that Uganda can be led consistently for a long time by one person. That is a good step that we have seen in him. Two, he has also shown Ugandans that in spite of our different cultural, tribal and, and religious and other differences, we can be as a country and be focused in national development. He has also so shown Ugandans that in spite of our history of division, of tribes placing tensions and fighting against tribes, Uganda can be one. And then these are testimonies that people give about the man of Museveni. And then these are things that we as young people appreciate him for. And so we say, yes, we know there should be transition, and by the way, for you to manage a political transition, you don't need to stampede people into a transition. All right. A transition is a systematic and natural process. All right. Yes. Uh, Richard, someone asks, Matai, very quickly here, says, why did you endorse an old man in the presence of new energetic faces in the NRM? I think you've just touched on that. And then I will add that to a question here by one that says, Does, doesn't the endorsement of Museveni mean the NRM cannot win an election without him? Is that what you're saying? That he's the only one in you, the party that can win for you an election? Uh, that, that's a very good question. I need to thank the person who asked the question. Uganda, now we stand at 30, 30, about 34 million people, according to our previous yeah, uh, statistics. 34, 35, for 34, yes, 35, yeah. yes. Of the 35, in our last uh, registry of the party, when we were carrying on the last elections, of the 34 million people, almost 20 million belong to the NRM political party. And of the... 20 million that belong to NRM political party, about 15 peak membership cards of NRM. And that shows you that more than a half of the population of Uganda are NRM members. Many and question, th and that many tells question you those numbers. You've had Odongo talk, say even the cows vote in the NRM, for the NRM. Uh, Odongo is another case. <laughs> that, that, that can be handled <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> but, but, but coming back to this issue, yes. you see, when you place 20 million people that support a political party. And that tells you our strength in the parliament, our strength in the different district councils that we have, and our strength in the national election that we have been uh, having. And indeed, whatever happens in NRM is a national issue. That, that is, a, is a fact. All right. the, this, this motion that was passed in Chang Kwanzi, NRM caucus is a small organ of the party. Why is it causing all this national debate? Because NRM is a mass party and then everybody supports NRM. Richard, this yeah. wasn't enough platform for us to discuss this uh, and exhaust it, but I would not let you go without answering this. Are you a Secretary General in the waiting? Yeah. We've heard and read about some of these things. Well, we shall cross the bridge when we come there. All right. Yes. That was Richard <laughs> Tudong, <laughs> Minister, Minister Without Portfolio, answering your questions on NTV Tech 5. Thank you. We're taking a very short break, but here's what's still to come.